welcome to our New Year 2020 episode of Talent Talks, a podcast and video series brought to you through the cooperation of the Talent City Centre Government, the City Centre New Arrivals Council and the City of Talent as part of the Talent City Centre for New Arrivals Project. I'm Chantal. And I am Solis Rosen. We are both part of Talent's international community, happy to help you connect to your new city and feel more like a local. And we'll also be talking mental health. The cold, dark winters in Tallinn, paired with COVID restrictions and potentially not being able to travel to see family and friends at Christmas, can have some of us in a pretty down place right now. We'll be talking winter mental health with Andre from the Health Board of Estonia and Mary Lip from Tallinn's Mental Health Centre to get tips, resources and coping strategies for this charming but sometimes difficult season. All these and more coming up in this episode of Tallinn Talks. But first, as always, the local news. Let's start the year with some numbers. Tallinn starts 2022 with a population of 445,678 people. And sorry, single ladies, but women outnumber men by 39,000. Ouch. This actually represents a small decrease, so 700 people from the start of last year, uh, and is 33% of the total population of Estonia. Ethnically speaking, at 1st of January, Tallinn was 53% Estonian, 35% Russian, and 12% other, so us. Hi. Amazingly, life expectancy at birth in Tallinn is 79.96 years, which is amazing. And the population has an average age of 42 years old. Pirita has the most children, and Mustame sees the highest share of the over 75s. And there are 41 people living in Tallinn who are 100 years old or more. To read more fun facts about your city, you can check out the Statistical Yearbook of Tallinn for 2021, available in English at tallinn.ee. And let's still stick to the numbers, because it seems despite all the challenges, a record number of new businesses were founded in Tallinn. Uh, last year alone, over 14,600 new businesses were registered in Tallinn in 2021, up nearly 12% on the year before, that is compared to an increase of only 4% in 2020. So at the end of last year, there were 119,089 registered companies in Tallinn, according to the National Business Register, which is 4% more than the end of 2020. And to put that also in context, so you understand this a little bit better, that's double the number of companies that were registered 12 years ago in 2009. So entrepreneurship and talent has definitely boomed and we contributed to that. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find more information about the talent business landscape at www.talent.ee forward slash ENG forward slash business forward slash. And Talenters are out in force showcasing digital solutions for urban environment and governance at the Dubai Expo. Representatives from both Tallinn and Tartu, along with a delegation of Estonian IT businesses, hosted a business seminar on future city solutions in the Estonian Pavilion at the Dubai Expo on the 10th of January, opened by the Tallinn Mayor, Mihail Kolvart. The seminar focused on solutions for the city of the future and displayed tech solutions and products for cities offered by Estonian companies, including of tech and their autonomous transport solutions, and Daytel, who have launched a new product with an early warning system that can detect movement of infrastructure, such as bridges and pipelines, by anything as small as a millimeter using EU satellite data. The Estonian delegation will continue to promote the city, its solutions and its companies throughout the World Expo, which runs until the end of March 2022. And from deserts to snowy forests, Tallinn's Town Hall Square now hosts a magical forest of spruce groves, wildlife and snowballs. With the 2nd of January marking the end of the traditional Christmas market, the market will now be replaced by a forest which will continue to provide some winter magic while walking around the city. The magical forest will be open until the end of January. And the Lilo Cultural Cafe has reopened in the Salme Cultural Centre, newly renovated and with a new performance space for the City Theatre. The cafe first opened in 1965 with the Youth Theatre, and its 60s style has been preserved with the renovation. To find out more about events, food and cultural experiences, check out the Lilo Cafe Facebook page. And while you 
are at it, you have the creative juices flowing as well. Check out the Place Buzz competition, which will enrich the pollinator highway with environmentally friendly or sensitive public art. The city has put out a call for submissions of innovative, location-specific, community-engaging, contemporary art or architectural installation projects, promoting the themes of sustainability and the life cycle of materials with a budget of 20,000 euros per installation. Installation. The pieces will be installed in the spring and summer of 2022 and will be up until at least the end of 2023, with one of the winning designs chosen through the online public voting in spring. The competition is led by the city's spatial planning team and you can find the materials of the design competition in the public procurement register with the reference number 24. 3179. The deadline for submitting the proposals is 18th February 2022. Now, reduced rent in the city centre's commercial premises has been extended by the city government until the end of April, giving an 80% re rent reduction for caterers, retail and service businesses and nightclub owners operating in commercial properties and up to 100% rent exemption for tenants using the city centre premises such as outdoor terraces. This is really going to help those businesses in the city centre in Old Town that continue to be hit by the impact of the pandemic. According to statistics, 4.5 million foreigners, uh, tourists, visited Tallinn in 2019. But this figure was almost eight times lower last year in 2021. Mm. So a big hit. The city's support measures for tenants have been approved as state aid by the European Commission and have been in place since the beginning of April 2020. And you may be experienced in an increase in the cost of electricity, gas and heating in Tallinn, but the city is here to help. From January 17, applications from low to middle income households can be submitted for rebates to help with these costs. Applications can be made to compensate for cost covering up to a five month period incurred between September last year, that's 2021, and March this year. Again, for more information, um, see energy subsidy at talent.ee. Now, winter restrictions, COVID, the holidays, it can all be tough, particularly on those living alone. In fact, we're going to discuss this yeah. shortly again in our mental health focus session. But statistics show that 43% of households in Tallinn are actually one membered, meaning that over 92,000 Talliners live alone. And this includes a large number of elderly people whose loneliness has been exacerbated by the constraints and the pandemic. But the city of Tallinn plans to take part in an external European social fund project to have volunteers providing support to elderly people living alone and people with special needs, in addition, obviously, to existing social services. Increasing social inclusion and independent living for those in need and also increasing the opportunities for people in the community to volunteer and give back. A pilot project was launched last year in August with the cooperation of the European Social Fund, the Estonian Ministry of Social Affairs and an Estonian NGO. And Talon plans to launch this project and reach 200 people in need through 150 volunteers. Information is at talon.ee forward slash Right. And last but obviously not the least, with the number of COVID cases in Tallinn continuing to rise, unfortunately, seven COVID prevention points continue to operate in the city, where you can take your first, your second, or boosting dose um, without pre-booking. And that's a wrap on episode seven of Talent Talks. Yep. If you want more local news content, subscribe to the Talon in Brief English newsletter today. The newsletter, which comes out once a month, provides a great overview of what's happening in the capital. You can find a subscription link in the description below. And also, if you live in the city centre or you're just interested in everyday updates from Kesklin, or maybe you have some questions for the local authorities and are willing to share your thoughts and ideas on urban space organisation or any other concerns regarding Talent's central district, then join the Talent City Centre for Expats official Facebook community administered by the Talent City Centre government. Don't forget to subscribe to the Talent Talks YouTube channel as well, right here while you're at it below right here. My name is Solis Rose Quarte and I've been doing this with Chantel. Thanks for joining us. Keep warm, stay safe and we'll see you next month. Bye.